Um, I probably haven't reflected heaps on it. I um, still feel like I'm in that moment, but I'm really grateful for, for my upbringing, for this club um, and for the players who sort of came before me. Um, I remember going and watching Jerry play and Tams play um, and seeing those boys make it on the big stage. Give a young kid from Porirua, Mana College, um, hope, I guess, that, that, that I could make it too. And sort of started to become more of a realistic goal in my back end of high school. Um, me and my best mate, or one of my best mates, uh, Tiran Tipitima, we decided to, to really give rugby, um, a serious crack. And, uh, we spent a lot of time training by ourselves, a lot of time competing with one another to hopefully put us in the best situation um, to, be, to be a professional rugby player. And the lessons I learned in, that, in those times, like I still use today, my old man used to say the hardest trainers make the best players, and Terence and I used to live by that. We weren't as talented as most of the dudes out there, but we backed ourselves to be able to um, outwork all of them. Um, and to this day, I still like use that mantra. Yeah, it probably was a... Eh? Maybe the year before that as well when, um, like I was talking about my boy and I were, were training quite hard and I could see on field the growth that we were making compared to everyone else. And I believe that like we had learned that earlier than a lot of people our age. And if I just kept working harder than them, it's going to be like hard, too hard for them to, to catch up later on. So when I started to see those results um, reflect on field. I almost got addicted to that feeling of working hard, getting better on the field, working hard, getting better on the field. Um, and when I saw the gap starting to, to grow between us and other players our age, yeah, that's when I thought, man, I can, I can at least give this a really good crack and put myself in a position to, to get close uh, and then be, getting the opportunity to play premier footy in my last year of high school and being able to roll around with like men and like hold my own that's when I was yeah I was pretty confident that all going well and I continue to work hard I'll be I'll be all good yeah I was probably a little bit naive or delusional might be the right word and I have that in me to this day too um, where I think I can beat most people at most things if if I've given the, given myself an opportunity to work hard at it and yeah, I was nervous because I was playing against men and I hadn't played at that level before. Um, but I was pretty confident in my, my ability and what I could do. And I probably didn't have a right to be that confident, but that's, that's helped me throughout my career, this false sense of um, confidence and um, thinking that the work that I put in is better than everyone else's around me um, probably gave me this confidence out there. And like, we had a really good team then too who allowed me just to go out there and do my job. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know where that confidence sort of came from, but it's something that I, I've needed throughout my career. Ooh. Um, what I'm most proud of on the field is that... Um, like I, I reckon I can look back on my career and I think I've squeezed as much of my talent out of myself as I probably had. Like I don't think I was the most talented person to play, but I reckon if out of the 100% of talent that I had, I'm pretty damn close of to that 100 of what I got out of my time in New Zealand. And I'm, I'm really proud of that. Um, off the field, Really proud of who I am as a husband and who I am as a father and a friend. Um, and I'm proud of the fact that my best mates to this day, outside of my wife, uh, my best mates that I grew up with, that's really important to me too. And there's a, a few things I'm looking forward to. I really enjoyed my time there last time, um, but we were clouded by COVID at that point. So my family ended up coming home and we couldn't enjoy the whole time together and we couldn't experience um, Japan for, for what it really is. So I'm excited about being able to be there with uh, with my family and experiencing that with them. I'm excited about the club that I'm going to. Uh, I think we've got some really good players at the club um, and we're a club that on paper should probably be competing at, at, at the top level and just haven't quite got there. 
um, over the last few years. And I believe the group of players that we have has a really good opportunity to um, to push that competition and to, to make a statement in that competition. Um, I'm also excited about the level of um, rugby that's been played over there at the moment. You see some of our boys from New Zealand who are currently over there and playing really well. You've got players from South Africa over there doing some really cool things too. Um, so really I rub, rub shoulders with them week in, week out. Uh, something that I'm excited about. Um, my advice would be that confidence comes from like work put in. So regardless of what avenue it is you're trying to to go down, um, time spent uh, and like work put in gives you confidence to to walk into any room and like know who you are. That's what I'd say. Wellington is and will forever be my home and the Hurricanes will always be my team. Over 160 games, 13 years, and I've loved every moment of it. This hasn't been an easy decision, but my family and I have decided to finish up our time in New Zealand and at the Hurricanes. We've decided to head to Japan and play for the Rico Black Rams. I'm forever thankful for the Hurricanes and New Zealand rugby for letting me a little boy from Porirua live out his dreams, make some amazing friends, and create some memories with him and his family. But I'm excited for what the future holds, the opportunity to go back to Japan and play in a competition that's only growing and spend more time with my family while growing on and off the field is something I'm really looking forward to. Thank you all for the support over the years. My family and I are truly grateful. There's still more work to be done before the end of the season, but I love you all and I'll see you again.